good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Tech It. So here we are, in the basement of my wonderful house, as ever, and today I need to address a little bit of a storage issue that I'm having. So I've done it with fluids, because I thought that was just boring and easy. I've just basically just banged together a couple of 64k storages. But when it comes to like my valuables and my wood stuff and things, I'm already kind of quite high on the old uh, 64k storage option. So I'm... Um, I'm probably going to be close to running out when it comes to uh, to storage on a number of these elements because that's obviously continuously and forever going up. I still need to address the fact that I've got some some laziness on the go. I saw that all out. Anything good on that one? Fire protection one, unbreaking two. So that's a no. Basically, then, what I need is I'm going to have to have a look at some of these bad boys. So I don't really want the 256k storage. It's a bit, you know. That's a bit of a of an early starting point. I'm probably going to want to go for one of the M storages. So you know, 4M, maybe a 16M, and then we we just you just start getting silly then, Terra storage, etc. But um, that's just the clusters we have to make. So if we were to go for 1M, is that a reasonable one? So we need to basically we need to get ourselves a lot of this stuff. Oh no, what a surprise! I haven't got any of it in my system. So, what was it again? Storage clusters. I definitely thought I'm pretty sure make those. Storage cluster, yep. So, make three of those. Or do your best to make three of those. Nether quartz. Dust. That might be a problem. I haven't got very much nether quartz. So I have got, I know I have got at least one of my, at least one of my turbines is on white now. That was on red for Ruby. That was on white. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot. Ruby. Get myself a Ruby block. Ready for this big moment. I have enough rubies to finish the walls. There it is. Finished. I now have a complete ruby room. This room is looking P-I-M-P. -P. Pimp. It's probably not a good description. But it is It is done. It's finally finished. I finally gathered enough resources to say I am finished. Which means, realistically, I can take the red laser focuses out of here. I don't need it on red anymore. Happy with that one on white. Don't think I've got anything in this one. Nope. So that's cool. I can get rid of the red focuses. Oh, stuck in the roof. So we have mine factory reloaded, which I'm sure I'll be up there. It is. So if we could just quickly put that into there and add that to it, should make sure that all of our options go in the right place, like so. I can keep sorting that out. Anyway. So how's this getting on? It's going to need to cook some silicon. So if I've got certus quart dust, not very much, but I can use it to make silicon. I've got a little bit more certus quartz than I have nether quartz. So I can perhaps look to blend some of this up in my spare pulverizer of spareness. Still making three of them, yeah. It's not got any of those. So this is going to be quite a tedious process to manufacture these these just I'm just trying to try and get the recipe sorted out, I guess. So we need to get one of those made. So we need some more fluix dust. Luckily I can build fluix dust pretty easily, I'd hope. Okay. So I think it was like that, and yep, it needs those clusters around it. Okay, so we'll give you that back system, so you can use that to your advantage. It has got a lot of things to make, hasn't it? Oops. 
Oh no, I'm unable to get, there you go, unable to get into my network. So I've not got... Right, I've got a lot of crap in my system, haven't I? So let's grab some of this crap and get rid of it. There's no reason why I shouldn't have automated this to do this, but I just haven't got around to it. And why are there rubies in here? Why aren't they in a logical, better place? Okay, cool. Let's just clear that out a little bit. start that going because I'm going to need loads of them aren't I? got 58 advanced processes so I was clearly prepared for that. I'm down 100 nether quartz so nether quartz is going to need to be uh, sourced luckily I have a nether quartz miscraft world which should be good okay is there anything else? I don't really know there's not really much else I can do while I wait for this is there yeah no it's kind of a I'm going to have to just kind of wait for this to catch up. So while it's doing that then, we'll do the needed nether quartz gathering. Now I am, I am strong, I have, okay, I'll, I'll tell you a little story about my, uh, my moon base. So I came back to my moon base a while ago and basically as soon as I arrived on this platform, the game would crash. And so it meant that basically it was, it was, totally and completely unplayable. I couldn't couldn't stay up here for more than two or three steps before it would crash. I managed to hopefully, to eventually, literally one or three steps at a time walk all the way out and round. And I have to turn off my particle accelerator. The particle accelerator is causing this, this game to crash, unfortunately. So, it's a known bug, unfortunately, with the particle accelerator when it comes to the sort of places that you build it. And it may be something that can be solved, but really the only way to solve it is to build the part accelerator in like its own special little world. So I do eventually decide that I need the part accelerator to actually work properly. I may have to identify and find a miscraft world where I can then build part accelerator in full from scratch. Let's try and stay on top of the explosions. Oh, I failed. Turn magnet mode. Oh no, not magnet mode. I have got magnet mode in my system. J. Drink off. Nope, not that. Yeah, my armor is is quite ridiculous. All right. Very friendly there, Mr. Never Quartz. I'm getting hurt. Wasn't expecting to get hurt. Right, that should be a crap ton of Nether Quartz collected. Let's quickly go into here. the magnet isn't it? Wee! Some magnet stuff to me. So that's gone well. I'll get the magnet to bring all the wonderful things to me. I didn't even hear that one go hiss. It just exploded. you get up here? Bastard. There we go, I've got another 64 stack there, that's what I wanted. If I remember rightly, I believe my exit point is over here. Yes it is. Oops, I missed.
good stuff. So we can drop off this new bonus nether quartz into the system. Probably have to go and get some more in the next sort of gap between episodes. Yep, 502, it's a good number. Good, it's got one, so we can get the storage cluster out of there. And that gives us step one of that. It's just ridiculously expensive, aren't they? So that needs three of them. That's that's sodding crazy, that is. Right. Oh, I filled it up. I have to go on a whole new page for this. There you go. So this is the most expensive manufacturing process ever. So what was that called? Kilo. So please can I have three of them please, my system. Which you're now looking at me like I'm a crazy person. Well, I would hope this is automatically making like a billion of those. Yeah. So I... Strange. I was only putting those through one at a time, is that why? That's annoying. So we need some basic processor assemblies. So we can get the ball rolling on that. It's probably the easy way to do it, let's be honest. What does that need? Silicon. Silicon is just either, either isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, So one of my spare room must be raining. There's an Enderman going batshit crazy somewhere. So that makes some more of that. So we're basically we're in trouble as far as the amount of resources. This is an extremely expensive build, but it's it's a necessary evil. Whoops. Six of them. Oh, my system has found some aluminium. So I've got no I've got plastic coming out my arse, apparently. Yeah, 5,000 plastic. So what else do you need? Basically, it's just that. So this should be producing them. A furious rate. Well, there's three in there. What are you? Oh, they're gone already. <laughs> Jesus, this is just eating basic processes. Uh, not qua. Like cutting knife or something, isn't it? Have I not got that built into the system? Keep making processes. Processes are too in demand. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. been clever enough to try and drain some things out. Some of this stuff might go into the other things. That's the other thing. You can. Uh, this is a new little game I've been playing with myself. So because this is empty and this is full of crap, but some of that crap might be actually a mistake. Put the empty one in there, put this one in there, and the mass majority of it will get put back into here, but some of it will go in the right place. Which is not going to go in here. So some of this stuff it's just it's, it's in eating up, I suppose. So how much have I suppose I've got in my valuables chest? 
see, I think, realistically, I'm going to consider a ruby to be valuable. So it will ruby blocks. So I'll do some editing while we wait. Rubies and ruby blocks are already part of the valuables. So why didn't the system remember that fact? Why doesn't it like rubies? It's interesting. What? What have I done? Partition allowed precise. Apparently I've balled up and double partitioned a drive, have I? Not really sure what it is that I've done here, but I've messed my system up catastrophically. So why is that ore not going in the ore chest? Oh, good. I'm glad I've done something catastrophic and ruined my system. That's that's great. So there's the storage clusters. So where's my kilo? But there we go. I have one crazy storage cell. So a kilo cluster. Allows me to make the next tier up. Which I'm definitely not going to have time to do in this episode. But that's mega, is it? Mega! So we'll start that. And watch this just go bonkers. But I will leave it there. Because that's far too much of just waiting for my computer to process a crap load of resources to want to film in this episode. So I will bring the episode to an end. So we're moving towards mega storage. So we have some massive storage capabilities by uh, hopefully the end of the next episode. And we'll have, be able not have to worry about whatever it is that we want to do. I can go about my... Uh, my duties of just quarrying the living crap out of miscraft worlds. If I can get like a double ores world, I can get my fourth set of laser drills set up downstairs. I need to do that pretty soon. And um, yeah, my system will hopefully be able to power through and just dominate all those resources. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you continue to enjoy the series. And I will see you again soon for the next episode. Bye for now.